We're going to begin this morning, however, with that deadly terror attack in Norway. A Norwegian man is behind bars this morning. Police say he set off a massive bomb in the building where the prime minister works in Oslo, the capital. At least seven people were killed. The prime minister was not there at the time. Then the terrorist allegedly drove some 60 miles to an island and opened fire at a youth camp, killing at least 84 people. CBS News correspondent Jeff Glores in Oslo with the very latest. Jeff, good morning. Russ, good morning to you. Norway woke to the full scope of this tragedy today as the death toll rose dramatically overnight. Many of the deaths, as you mentioned, at a campground 60 miles north of here. There were 600 kids on this small island, Utuya, and police now confirm that of the 84 people killed, some were as young as 16. They say 32-year-old Anders Bering Breivik was dressed as a police officer. Campers told police Breivik tried to gather a large group, telling them it was a routine terror check before opening fire. He had a bag with many weapons and uh, such an uh, ammo. He had a lot of ammo, yeah. yeah. Visitors could be seen trying to swim for safety, the shore three quarters of a mile away, as witnesses said Brevik kept shooting into the water. Only two hours earlier, police believe Brevik was the same man who set off the bomb in downtown Oslo, an explosion that left at least seven dead. Authorities say the toll could have been much worse had many people not already left for the weekend. Today, blocks near the site are guarded by the Norwegian army. The city still sedates, but not without visitors. Couldn't help but notice that you're down here with your daughter. Yeah. Today. Uh, we think this is a uh, uh, very uh, uh, sad but uh, still important day for Norway. It's okay to see it, but uh, I'm not uh, as I, I feel a bit afraid, yes. To give you an idea of the power of this explosion, we're a couple hundred yards away now. That's more than two football fields away from the actual blast site. And you can see, and behind buildings, by the way, and windows are still blown out here. Police say Breivik had registered a farm-related business in eastern Norway, which let him buy large quantities of ammonium nitrate fertilizer, the primary bomb component. Ominously, just days ago, Breivik opened a Twitter account, posting just one message. One person with a belief is equal to the force of 100,000 who have only interests. As you can see, Norwegian flags are at half-staff today. Breivik has been arrested. He is in custody in Oslo, and police say he is cooperating. Uh, he had posted many messages online critical of Norway's ruling Liberal Party, but so far police have not commented on a motive. Russ? Jeff Glor in Oslo. We'll see you later in the broadcast. Thanks a lot.